Okay, I'll give you the uh, uh, the word picture. Uh -huh. Right, I want you to take it that my um, driving license and eyesight's been checked, so don't go there. Uh -huh. Um, and it's very important on your part two that you don't, or your part three that you don't go there, yeah. Right. But he will explain that to you at the beginning. So the word picture is is that um, my instructor's gone sick today, and he's got the same car as you, and that's why they've sent you along. And he said today we we're going to do emerging left and right. So that's emerging from T junctions to turn left and to turn right. right. So can you just tell me what we're doing? We're going to do emerging. T junctions left and right. Um, and I'm partly trained, so that's phase one. Yeah, that's good. Right, hand yeah. it over to you then. Right. Hello, Tony. My name's Barry. Hello, Barry. How are you? Alright. I'm okay. Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to take this lesson for you today, as your uh, oh, thank you. normal instructor's gone sick. Yeah. Okay. Now he did say that we, you were going to do um, emerging today. He did. Yeah. 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 And we're going to that's emerge left and emerge right. Yeah. From a T junction, so it's uh, minor to major. Right. Um, what did you do on your last lesson? Um, if you ask me that, I'd probably I'd, I'd probably answer turning the road, yeah. Right. Ha All right. And that's got your stuff, doesn't it? It has. Have you, Have you done turning? Yeah. That's from a major road. Oh, they just asked me. I've ever used the mirror signal position speed look right. routine. Have you ever used the mirror signal position speed routine? Funny enough, last week, yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. What yeah. was that one? We were turning left, turning right oh, from right. major okay. to minor. Right, okay. Well, we're going to use um, <coughs> that same principle for this. Right, so just coming out of road, I'm, I'm not saying Ian at Luton will actually play you around on you asking what you've done in the last lesson, but, but I do know from reading other people's write ups. So I don't mess around, just ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them can be a little bit, bit smart, but, uh, but Ian, Ian would uh, would probably give you the answer you want. But if you if you just ask you a direct question, have I ever used a mirror signal position speed look routine? Yeah. Right. Okay. Then I'll probably give you the right answer that they are looking for. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then. Right. Okay. Well, in this we're going to use the mirror signal position speed routine. And what we do, if we take this example here where we're going to turn left at the junction, what we do as we approach the road, we see the junction ahead and we're going to turn left. So the first thing we do, um, can you tell me what the first thing you'll do is as you've done this last week? We're going to turn uh, left at the um, junction. Is it mirrors? It's mirrors. What mirror do, would you check first? Um, I've never done a mirror yet, so... Um... Well, it's, it's, it's the, the, the principles of uh, MSM are still the same. From what you've done. Oh, tell me anyway. Um, okay. First thing you do is set your centre mirror. Any oh, right, yeah, yeah. Any idea why it's the centre mirror first? Oh, it's a true picture, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. And then after that, we check our left mirror. Yeah. If we're turning left. If it's safe to do so, we then put a signal on. So we signal left. <coughs> because we're turning left, we keep our normal road position, which is about a metre from the kerb. All right. Okay. What we then do is we cover the brake, or if need be, We'll just brake gently and bring our speed down to perhaps about 10 miles an hour, two or three car lengths before the junction. And we'll, we'll go into first gear. And that way, well, at the moment, well, because you haven't done these before, we're going to stop whatever the junction. But by being in first gear, you would be ready to go if the road was clear. And later on, as you get more proficient, as we approach and the road's clear, you won't have to stop at a giveaway sign. Oh, okay, you can just right. go around. Yeah, but for yeah. the moment, while we're learning it, we will stop at all these. Once we get to the junction, that's when we look. And we're looking, because we're going to turn a left, our main worry is cars coming from our right. <coughs> right. So any idea how you would judge whether it's when it's safe to pull out with cars coming down from uh, your right? I've never done a merging, Harry. Right. No. Okay, what we do is, to determine whether it's safe to pull out, because we don't want that car to swerve or, or swear, so we decide, have we got time to walk from that pavement to that pavement and back again? All right. Okay. Have you been run over by a car lately and you've been crossing no, the road? No, not the last no? few weeks. No. So you're fairly good at judging <laughs> yeah. when it's safe to walk across the road. Okay, then. So we're sitting there looking at that car and we decide it's you're, you're happy walking across the road and walking back. That means you've got time to then turn left and pull out in the path of that car. Gives you time to pull away and he can come up behind without having to brake hard. All oh, right, right. Okay. Uh, 
Once we're in the new road, what we do is we check our mirror just to see what's coming on behind us. He may well have decided he's going to overtake us. So what we do, we check our centre mirror, see what's behind us. We check our right mirror. Just I, to I see. check mirrors. Mirrors, is that what you said? Or mirror? You check mirrors. Ah, uh, mirrors, yeah. Mirrors. You check your centre mirror first. Yeah. To see what's coming up behind. Yeah. And then you check your, your right mirror just to see if he's decided to overtake you. All oh, right, yeah. Now, if he had decided to overtake, what would you do? I just go a bit faster. Well, no, no. What you do is he's off. Just let him go past, and then once it's clear, then accelerate away. Because if if he was overtaking you and you accelerated away, what what could be the consequences of that? Um, he might stick his fingers over or something. He might, or he might be forced into an oncoming car if you're both oh, accelerating right, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah so no, no, you no. just let him go and then yeah. then drive off. Okay. It's important. Um. Um, I'll, I'll show you the reference point for stopping. What we don't want to do is have the car beyond those giveaway signs because this is the situation you could get where you're uh, jutting out in front of that road and that car has to swerve around you. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Now, if there was a push bike there, for instance, the push bike might swerve as well and then get hit by that red car. Yeah. Okay, so it's important we get reference points and we'll sort those out. Um, And we don't want to stop too, we don't want to be over the line, but we don't want to be too far back either. Because if you're too far back, you get very limited visibility and you'll find it difficult to see where that car is. Oh, if you look at this diagram here, this is a typical sort of closed junction where you, it's, you might have houses and walls and things like that. So if you stop short of the junction, you just can't see what's coming. Oh, that's what a closed junction is, yeah? Closed junction oh, is anything where yeah. you have very limited visibility yeah. on either side. It's an open junction if on both sides it's clear. So across fields and things like that, you're better safe. Oh, right, right. Okay. That's handy. That's turning left. Now, for turning right, very, very similar. We've got the junction coming up. We check our... Uh, which mirror? As our interior junction, mirror. We check our interior mirror. Then, because we're turning right, we check our right mirror to see if anyone's trying to overtake acres. If they are, we'd let them go. We then need to pop a right signal on. Yeah. So we pop a right signal on, and now we've got to take up position. Because we're turning right, we want to be just left of the centre of this road. We do that because if cars want to turn left, they can come up the inside of us and turn oh, left, right, and yeah. we're not blocking yeah. them. But we don't want to be over the line, because if a fire engine comes whizzing round on an emergency call, it may well crash into us. So we want to be just left of centre of that line. And again, when we do this, we'll talk through the reference points. All right. So we can get you to do that. But very similar to the left. We pop our right signal on. We get the position of the car, just left of centre. We brake. We bring our speed down. But we're going to stop here anyway. As I said, we're going to stop at all these junctions, whether we need to or not. We're going to put it in first gear. And we'll come to a halt at this giveaway sign, just left of centre. Now, because we're turning right, again, if we're going to pull into the path of another car... Can you remember how you judge whether it's safe to pull out? Oh, uh, I have to walk across and walk back again. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you've got a car coming from your right, we're only going to cut across his path, so we don't need such a big gap. And um, the way we judge the gap there is if we can walk from one side of the road to the other. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we don't need a big gap. Now, some of these, this this is a, a, a example here as a giveaway sign. Some signs, some some junctions will have a stop sign. You'll have a solid white line. It'll have the word stop, and there's normally one of these octagonal signs with oh, stop right. on it. Right. And now that shape, that's the only sign that's that shape. So if you're in a foreign country, and it's in a foreign language, or it's snowing and it's covered, you can still recognise that sign. Oh, OK. Right. Uh, I'll say on this one, a giveaway sign, you'll normally have an inverted triangle with giveaway. You don't have to stop, but we are going to stop at all the right. junctions right, for the moment. Know. Okay, uh, have you got any questions on that at the moment? No, so at the stop sign, I must stop. You must stop. The even, wheels must physically even, stop turning even, at even the stop sign. Clear, yeah? Even if it's clear, you must stop. Right. Okay, that was good. Yeah. There's generally a reason why it's a stop sign. It could be an accident. Right, I'm, oh, I'm just going to stop you there. Right. Yeah, 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 that was good. Yeah, yeah, there's just one bit. As you know now, there's, just, there's a slightly different... They're looking at phase one, but a slightly, uh, slightly different view now. Is that they are looking for... You just um, for you to find out from me if learning has taken place, yeah. Right. Um, 
so instead of saying to me that every junction we're going to come to today we're going to stop if you just use the words that in the early stages we're going to be stopping because we may well if i progress well enough all right yeah be able to do a rolling first gear start yeah yeah it may not happen on this lesson but it may happen yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah mm -hmm. okay so should we go and do some practice okay let's get out of pause <laughs> 